i'll talk about medical uh, medical ethics uh, uh, and consent uh, consent uh, is less of a ethical uh, uh, thing as uh, it is more of a legal aspect actually it is legally required so today uh, i'll talk about uh, what is consent what are types of consent what is prerequisite for consent what you do in emergency situation and uh, in this re for research what type of consent is required and uh, documentation required for consent so consent can be defined as instrument of mutual communication between doctor and patient where patient authorizes the doctor to act in a particular way this is definition of consent and uh, consent can be of a uh, few other types uh, first uh, i will talk about implied or implicit consent implied consent is actually a consent which is implied uh, uh, from patient behavior if a patient enter in doctor's chamber and explain his uh, 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 symptoms or complaints Uh, then there is a implied consent for general physical examination and routine investigations similarly if a patient enter a laboratory with the test requisition form in his hand and uh, then there is implied consent for routine testing however for intimate examination especially in female patients or for invasive test and risky procedures uh, the express consent is required then uh, implied consent will not work next type of consent is expressed consent or explicit consent the explicit consent can be either verbal or written and it is recommended that for special procedures especially for invasive procedures uh, we need to obtain expressed written consent it should be a written consent uh moreover when there is likelihood of complications and the same thing apply for hiv testing as i told you in my previous lecture hiv testing require uh, explicit consent uh, and uh, pre testing and post test counseling then there is uh, something known as informed consent uh informed consent is obtained from the patient after disclosure of sufficient information patient is first informed about uh, the procedures or complications of the procedures and then consent is obtained and patient should be informed uh, in a language that patient can understand if patient understand hindi then the consent should be uh, after informing the patient in hindi language then what are the prerequisites of consent for consent should uh, the for consent to be valid patient should be competent to give consent that is uh, the patient should be an adult and of sound mind so who are not competent children are not competent to give consent in case of children the consent is obtained from the parents and similarly incapacitated persons persons with uh, for example let us say head injury or uh, some uh, some other uh, uh, patient who cannot understand then consent is obtained from legal guardians uh, in such a case what you will do in emergency situation in emergency situation consent uh, may not be possible and under those circumstances it is acceptable to carry out necessary procedures provided that they are in patient's best interest and the same is applicable for laboratory testing and uh, for research purpose uh, consent is necessary for photographing a patient for uh, scientific educational research purpose and moreover specific consent must be obtained if identity of patient is likely to be reve revealed while publishing uh, the research and uh, consent is of course must uh, for participation in clinical trial and research projects and for for uh, including a subject in research project a patient information sheet with detail of research is uh, first uh, given to patient 
uh, then uh, after reading that information uh, written consent is obtained from patient for participation in clinical trial or research uh, consent need to be documented so uh, for that uh, the consent must be prepared in duplicate and copy handed over to patient the consent uh, document uh, the consent document should be dated and signed by the patient or guardian the doctor as well as an independent witness and uh, the medical record that is the consent documentation should be preserved for at least 3 year so this was all about uh, consent ethical aspects of consent um, they are actually legal aspects thank you